Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today we have a very special guest, and that is the Ace Beam Rider RX Titanium Edition. Now this does have a Nichia 219F LED in here. Um, and this is a very unique flashlight. Can you guys guess what it is? Just looking at it. Ready? Boom. Pretty cool, huh? So I really like playing with this. I, I fidget a lot. Um, oh, let me show you something else. So, granted, I'm a 41 year old man, okay? And I still fidget with stuff. <laughs> no, I'm not a 12 year old kid. I, I am a full grown man with children and a job and a wife, but I like to fidget with stuff. I found this uh, like carabiner type fidget spinner on AliExpress. It's super solid, but um, I clip my keys to it. I have some cool EDC stuff that I'll, I'll kind of go over later, but just going hand in hand with this, as in things to fidget with. I, I saw this on Ali and I thought that was really cool. And I thought I would share it with you guys. I'll leave, I'll put a, a link for it in the description. I just ordered another one because these are super solid. Like it's not, it's solid steel. It's not aluminum. It's not going to break. Like I would feel safe hanging all 225 pounds of me off this. Anyways, let's get on with the review. So I got the very good looking titanium version. Uh, it's a stonewashed titanium body. The flashlight inside is blue, like the name of my dog. Um, and I thought, oh, all Ace Beam did was take a pokelet and stuff it in a titanium case. Um, that's not the case. This is a completely different flashlight altogether inside of here. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the pokelet, but the reflector seems to be the same size. So my Pokelet has a 519A, and this is the 219F, 5,000 Kelvins. Um, it's it's a really nice beam. I'll, I'll show both of them later. The, the, the Pokelet 519 and um, the Nichia 219F. So I think the CRI is gonna be higher in the, the 519A version. Um, but it's such a small discrepancy. It's, it's really hard to tell. All right. So one thing that is super cool about this is it is dual fuel. Um, well, more like a uh, triple fuel. Okay. Because you can use lithium ion, alkaline, and also nickel metal hydride batteries. Um, if you decide to use a lithium ion, you are going to get the most brightness, the most lumens. Um, with the alkaline and the nickel metal hydride, so the, the nickel metal hydride battery, that one lasts two hours on medium. Granted, it's only 80 lumens, but it can last over two hours. With the lithium ion on medium, it's it's one hour. All right, so with the alkaline, you get super low. This is half a lumen. Really good looking beam. There we go. So if you click through all the modes real quick, you'll activate what's called a hidden SOS. So, all right, there's four brightness settings. A little bit brighter. 
little bit brighter. So that's 80 lumens, and then high is 200 lumens, but it goes down to 80 lumens in about seven minutes. All right, let me show you how it looks with the lithium ion. But it's just really nice that, you know, you don't, you're not gonna run out of light just because you know, you don't have a lithium ion battery charged. I do recommend keeping extras, but that is just me. There we go, okay. Hidden SOS, so just, if you do have this light and are in a precarious situation and need help, just keep clicking through and then it'll activate that hidden SOS. All right, so high with a lithium ion is 650 lumens. And it'll hold that for two minutes. And then it goes down to 450 for six minutes. And then it'll stay at 330 lumens for 55 minutes. Or you can use me mid, medium right here. This is 280 lumens and that'll hold for a solid hour. All right, so ultra low right here, a very usable seven lumens. You can use this for 53 hours. So almost two and a half days. Low, that'll last for three hours and eight minutes and that's 70 lumens. All right, so let's look at what's inside. It came with a lithium ion battery. It does have a USB-C, a small USB-C charging cable. Um, a nice little lanyard that says Ace Beam on it. And then four O-rings. So it lo looks like two smaller ones and two larger ones. Let me see. So this is the larger one, it looks like. The smaller one must be in here somewhere. But yeah, I only see the larger one right there. Oh, maybe, I don't know, who knows. Um, the pill is made of solid copper. I appreciate this. Like this just, whenever the pill is solid copper, I mean, that just, I think that's quality. Let me look at, and, and that's how it is on all these Ace Beam products. And even on their little, little lights, their little cheap lights, all copper. So that'll have much better heat distribution. All right, so like my lumen top is aluminum. Everything in there, aluminum. But that's one thing I noticed with the Ace Beam. I mean, especially like that color pops, like the copper with the blue. Man, that just looks good. <clears throat> so I looked up um, the water resistance rating. I didn't find anything. I know the Pokelet is rated at IP68. So I'm assuming this writer is rated at IP68 as well. And just like from looking at the build, it looks like you could drop this in water and it'll be just fine. And it's really nice that there's a titanium casing around the light. I wish all my flashlights had a titanium casing. Um, just to protect them even more. Granted, I, I'm okay with mine getting scratched, but it would just be nice. So you can see it's already scratching, but it's got, I mean, there's a little indent right there that holds um, the belt clip in place. I haven't taken this apart and I don't think I'm gonna modify it. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna put a 519A in here or potentially um, make it a little bit throwier. 
with an Osram LED. I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. I really like this light just the way it is. Um, the blue on the belt clip is a little bit darker than the blue of the flashlight. So just another color contrast. But overall, a really solid little light. Let's see, let's put these together. So this is it next to the Poklet. And here's next to the Tool AA. So it's just a little bit bigger than the Poklet. And a tiny bit bigger than the AA. Um, I have some other small lights. I don't know if I have any out here. All right. All right, so my dog lost his ever-loving mind because another dog walked past the house. Um, and during that time, I grabbed a couple other lights to show you a comparison. This is an Olight i3T, which is much smaller um, and of course much dimmer. Not nearly as bright, and it's it's like a cool white. I hate the LED in here. For a small light like this, I want something high CRI. Uh, here's the TS10. TS10 is a little bit wider, but it is shorter. Mm. And I have brass and copper. And the copper one comes with fast RGB lights, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like the slow changing, so I might change these out, but just really cool little lights. All right, here is the Sofern SP10 Pro. These are pretty similar in size. I wish this had a tail clicker, a tail switch, I'm sorry, but it doesn't. The SP10 is wider and the reflector is much larger. But yeah, I'll, I'll do a comparison, like a really in-depth comparison. Uh, this is the Emelint LD70 Mini and this LED is a small bit larger than the 219F with the XHP 70.2. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's much larger and this is my mini thrower with the little fat head but these are all 14 500s this one I think is a triple A and then this one's an 18 350 so I guess all the 14 500s will put all those together uh, but this one this light is so much fun and let me show you how it looks in the dark, all right? Hey guys, so I'm outside with the Ace Beam Rider RX with a Nichia 219F. So this is ultra low. Is this low? Medium. And high. It's a pretty solid beam for such a small light. And I brought out my Poklet with a Nichia 519A, uh, 35, no, what is this, 4500, I think? So the tint's pretty similar on the two. Yeah. So the 519's on the left, a little bit higher CRI. And we have the RX Rider on the right. But honestly, you can't go wrong with either one. Nichia just makes really great high CRI LEDs. And I love putting them in my small lights. I even brought my Sofer and SP10 out. SP10 Pro. I thought that, um, that the rider really wouldn't be able to compete with it due to the size of the reflector. But... It actually compares. So this one's 3,500. 
and this is 5,000. So personally, I like something probably closer to this, maybe around 4,000, combine the two. Eh, that's probably 4,500. But this is, this is like doesn't have a hot spot at all. The SP10, whereas this has a nice big hot spot. You know, so that'll give it more throw. All right, looks like the SP10 stepping down. I'm really impressed actually with the throw of it. I really thought it was just gonna be all flood, kind of like the SP-10, but it's got a nice little hot spot. It's hitting 100 meters. It claims 96, but I can see, I can see light at 100 meters. Anyways, it's a great little light. It's getting really hot. Holy moly, wow. <laughs> it, gets, it gets pretty hot. All right, guys, thanks for watching. All right, so as you can see, it has a really nice tint um, at 5,000, high CRI, over 90, but just a really nice beam. Uh, you really can't go wrong with this. If you like to fidget like me, this light is a home run. I carry this around my house, and it's just a great, a great little light to have around the house um i'll leave a link for the dis for, for this light in the description definitely go check it out ace makes some really nice products i'm really happy with them i'm glad that I, I started buying some of them um but you guys stay bright and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching